Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Before we get cranking on this hunt, I want to tell you a little bit about it. Biggest hunt of Sand Hills history, Sand Hill Flyway, that is, my guy's service, my lodge. Uh, biggest one 70 mallards and 115 birds total. Snows, specks. We didn't even shoot one Canada. This was like a Saskatchewan hunt, but in central Kansas. Got a couple things to tell you guys before we roll it. Uh, number one, ducks waterfowl. If you guys are looking for duck calls, duck gear, waterfowl hunting gear, check out duckswaterfowl.com. Remember, use code BOB at checkout, Bob. It's gonna save yourself or your parents some money uh, when they go to buy them Christmas presents. Tell mom, tell dad, you want a ducks duck call. You want a hat. You want the old school camo hoodie. But you gotta remind them, use code Bob so they save that money. Ducks Waterfowl is always linked down below in the description, as well as I am booking snow goose hunts for uh, snow goose conservation, February 2023, coming up. So if you're interested in that, head over to sandhillflyways.com, fill out the inquire to book form, and I'll be getting a hold of you. Number three, the podcast is fired up. We have been having a ton of fun. Burtis has been on there a lot. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the last one. I am on the last one. I got my chef coat. Oh, yeah. You guys got to watch. He got his new custom chef coat. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. It Press, is pretty sweet. Yeah, Where's it at? Is it in here? No, it's back in the camper. <laughs> back in the camper. We're having a bunch of fun over there. It is not for children. It's for adults only. I'm just saying that. I don't want kids going over there. But I get to be myself. We all do. So enough. The podcast is always linked down in the description as well as Sand Hill as well as Ducks. Let's get in to this banger video, this banger hunt that I will never forget. Ducks last, baby. Say something about the hurricane force winds. Yeah, it's uh, that's no joke. It's gonna be like 40 mile an hour gusts today. It's going over there. Uh, 40 mile an hour gusts. Uh, not really cold. That's what's good about it. Uh, we got a cold front coming in tonight, I believe. It's gonna get really cold, but lots of wind. Even more <laughs> ducks. That just nailed me. Too. I saw that. Not even gonna lie. Lots of ducks in this field like a lot pretty excited about it we're gonna set a big white hog and uh we have a lot of shooters today a lot so trying to put a pile of green on the ground biggest pile of green that we've ever done hopefully hopefully, hopefully. come on you know what to do smash that bad boy right there give us some good luck
Peace too. <laughs>
side, kill him! Yep. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yeah, that was insane. Absolutely Oof. insane. Got the custom salads going on for lunch. What are you gonna do with all them onions? Oh, these, these are for the birria tacos. Ooh. Starting, gonna get that started here a little bit, let it go all afternoon. Goose birria so tacos. Oh yeah, so they're ready to go for, for dinner tonight. And then this is just lunch, this other stuff. Easy bag salad, nothing fancy. Gotcha. But, Everybody gotta drop a comment down below for old Burtis. Yeah. If you want us to film the entire process of how to make Really, really authentic, good goose birria tacos. It's been a hit, it's been a hit. It's amazing. Oh yeah. Dude, so if you guys want it. to learn that recipe, it's not a, it's a pretty strenuous process. Oh yeah, it's one. definitely a process, but uh, it's well worth it, man. It's some of the best, best goose, honestly just best meals, regardless if it's goose or not. Yeah, it, we, it's, it's we've pretty used tasty. duck, goose. What else yep. have you done, done with duck and goose? And then I've braised some like sh short rib, beef short rib, and done it with beef quite a bit, which is kind of the more common way you see it. But with goose, man, it, it hits. It's it good. Does. You can't even taste it. The waterfowl is completely gone. Oh, it yeah. tastes like beef. Oh, yeah. Like 100% tastes oh, yeah. like beef. It looks like shredded brisket. It looks like shredded beef. So it's, it's, it's delicious. It really is. Drop a comment down below if you want us to do a video over the entire process on how Burtis <laughs> cooks this stuff. Because if you're, if you've looking, if, let me put it this way. If you've been looking for something, a goose or duck recipe that everyone will love, even your wife, your kids, you're going to want to learn this process. It's amazing. Yeah. It's the most requested recipe by far I have here. Like yes. it's every group, that entire last group, everybody's like, Hey, can you send me the recipe? I'm like, oh, I'll get there. <laughs> Just getting it in words and putting it out on papers, pretty strenuous. So Hey, we gotta knock it out with a video. So. A video would show them. Yeah, all. that shows them. They can just go to the video. Dude. Let's do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna film it today. So be looking out for that video. I got a ton of hunts, a ton of videos coming. If you're new to the channel, we are in fact a full blown waterfowl hunting channel. Have been for about six, seven years now, and I'm loving it. I'm loving life. If it wasn't for you guys being here, I wouldn't be doing this. So thank you from the absolute bottom of my heart. I appreciate you all so much so much to just keeping me going you guys are keeping interest and i keep trying to go up i just keep trying to go up build a lodge clientele anything and everything uh, yeah it's going good great season probably the best season of sand hill flyway history yet uh, this is only our third year but the season is amazing i hope that all of you guys are having a ton of luck Happy holidays from Sand Hill and the boys. Get out there. Take someone new hunting. Take your grandfather that hasn't been forever. Take your father that hasn't been forever. Take your new friend that's never hunted in his life. Get him his hunter safety certificate. Help him out. Get him out there. Try it, man. We got to get more people into this sport because if we don't, it's going to do this. So thank you all. Subscribe if you haven't. But until next time.